Yeah, the rat is back. Oh no, God! How's it going, guys? In today's video, we are going to be going over the Player of the Month Ben Yedder SBC potentially coming out for winning the League Un Player of the Month for September. As you guys could have seen in just a screen ago, uh, Ben Yedder had four goals in four games, uh, pretty much outplaying most of the contenders, as well as Monaco had a decent month as well. So it does look very likely that Ben Yedder is going to win that SBC. So today we're going to go over some price predictions for him, as well as some really good investments that you guys can make to either complete the SBC for cheaper or make a ton of coins from it. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys drop a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're new. Can we go for like 50 likes on this video, guys? I know we can do it. Yesterday, you guys smashed the goal, and I'm sure this one we can smash as well. Uh, without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, yeah, the rat, um, he had uh, four goals in four games for Monaco. A really good month for um, him as well. Uh, but he doesn't really have too, too much competition. Now, there is the potential for Huang Hu Zhou uh, right here uh, with the Korea Republic uh, with a win and a draw. He had three goals and one assist. Uh, and as well as, uh, you know, down here, we had uh, two goals, two assists. I'm not going to pronounce his name. And then Jonathan David as well had three goals in three games. Four goals uh, in itself is really good. Ben Yadair had a really, really good month. And he is a little bit more popular than the rest. So I do think that he has the potential to actually slide in and win this player of the month. Uh, regardless, though, going over any of the investments, it'll work for any of these players, guys. Fodder is so low. So first things first, I want to talk about the Ben Yadair pricing. Uh, right now, he sits at 13.5k on Xbox, 26k on PlayStation. Pretty big gap, not gonna lie. Now, as far as his actual card goes... The gold card won't move much at all. He won't go down. He won't go up because the SBC will be priced at a much higher price. Now, keep in mind, if he does win player of the month, he will actually move up to an 86 rated card, which is obviously two overalls higher than the 84. And judging off some of the other SBCs, which we will actually go into ultimate team right now and take a look at Benzema and the other player of the months that we've gotten so far. I'm a little torn between what to decide for Ben, Yair, ben Yadair's price prediction. Because if EA decide to go cheap and they do base it off of, say, Benzema, for example, because Benzema obviously is a lot better in this game than, say, he was in FIFA uh, 21. He came in at like 100k and he was really, really good value. Now, Ben Yadera is obviously going to be a lot more popular of a player because obviously he has that kind of reputation for being a rat in the last two games and being very very good now benzema came in at 85 87 rated team he actually ended up being like 125k uh which is really good value for this sbc now if ea decide to go along you know kind of with similar pricing say you know they base it off of benzema and benzema being good this year uh and ben Yadier being decent i'm saying at a cheap value they make Ben Yadair maybe around, say, 100k. I don't know what you're drinking in that tea, you know. He does have five-star weak foot, four-star skills. Benzema's only four-star, four-star. But he's much lower rated than Benzema is. So 100k would be very, very kind. Uh, knowing EA, this won't be the case. Uh, a fair price prediction, I'd say, uh, or if EA decided to go a little more expensive, it would end up probably being about 200 to 250k. We saw Ronaldo was in a crazy expensive, uh, and that was expected. Koulibaly, another defender that was really needed or really good, he is a, needed an 83, 84, 87, and an 85 rated team being a lot more expensive. So I'm looking to see, you know, Ben Yadair probably be around 200, 250K, which I think is a little expensive for an 86 rated card. But if he was to get an inform on the market, I'd imagine that would be kind of the simil a similar price that that inform would be on the market. Now, again, just to quickly go over the prices, we ended up seeing Koulibaly. So guys, um, the uh, end of this clip and, and just the rest of the video that I had recorded just completely like cut out of all the audio. And of course, the light died while I was recording this part. So unfortunately, the rest of this video is going to be a little weird. But anyways, I want to kind of go over and compare the prices of uh, Koulibaly and some of the other ones. Koulibaly came in at about 170k on Xbox, 158k on PlayStation. Benzema, very similar, 145, 135. And of course, Ronaldo was ridiculously expensive as far as player of the month goes. But realistically, I'm expecting about like a 250k SBC 
for Ben Yadair. However, if EA really want to pump fodder up, they would give less squads. Uh, and obviously, if he was to come in at 100k, that price wouldn't hold. He'd get shot up really fast. Now, I kind of want to talk about some investments, uh, some fodder, and then some link investing as well. Now, with fodder, I find it very interesting because if they do require, say, a Ligoon player for an 86 rated team or something like that, there aren't many choices. Uh, as you guys can see, from the 84 and on, it is just PSG players. And really, the only fodder choices there is is Di Maria, uh, Verratti, his, uh, Keeler Navas, not Jesus Navas, and Sergio Ramos. Uh, other than that, everybody is very expensive as they are usable in-game. Donnarumma, 70k, which is too expensive. Marquinhos is 90k. Uh, Hakimi is 155k in the game right now. So a lot of these cards are really, really expensive. And I don't really see other choices that much. So if there is a Ligoon requirement for a high-rated squad, uh, there's really only few players that you can really choose from. Uh, personally, I love defenders usually, but I like Di Maria and Verratti in this case. Uh, I don't know if we'll see an 88 rated squad needed for a Ben Yadair, but we will probably see an 87, an 86, and an 85 rated squads needed. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. As well as we can look at like French ones as well, France links. Uh, you know, we uh, saw that EA does like to include some of them. If I get rid of the uh, Ligoon link filter, whatever. Uh, we'll see there's still not many, there's not many great choices still at fodder prices for French. You have uh, Hugo Lloris, uh, you have Benzema, and I mean, that's really it. I guess you can, can consider Griezmann as well. But there's not many other choices between 85, 86, 87. So fodder choices are very, very limited as far as those squads go. I mean, we're not going to need a full 11 of Ligoon players. But you will need one. And people will look to pick one up at those higher rated cards. Uh, so I do like the look of, uh, you know, if Ben Yadair comes out, I do like the look of picking up some of the fodder because I think it'll do well. And not to mention, we don't have a great French striker. Uh, that is in the mid-tier price. I mean, you have Benzema. Some people don't like Benzema because he is a little bit different of a build. He's a bigger build. He's a different striker. And Kylian Mbappe, he's a 1.25 mil, so not many people can afford him. So I think a lot of people are really going to be looking into uh, Ben Yadair because I do rate him over Griezmann as well. Uh, so looking at some links, uh, you know, Pogba, you, Kante, uh, even some of the icons like Perez, you might see them go up a little bit in price as people try to link together teams. Same with maybe, I mean, I, I doubt many people are going to play with Di Maria in their team, but you might see a few of the League Un links link, uh, go up as well. Uh, maybe like Hakimi or something, I don't know, if people are trying to link teams together. But uh, you can definitely look in that. As far as, as far as alternatives go, like Ben Yadair's actual gold card, like I said, it won't move at all when an SBC like this drops out. It's not like he's going out of packs, which will push his price up. And it's not like, you know, it, it's it's going to drop his price down. He'll just drop due to natural stuff. But, you know, as far as like the other ones go, like Kylian Mbappe and some of those other alternatives you can choose at, at striker at French, uh, it's not going to matter. No one is choosing a player of the month Ben Yedder over a Kylian Mbappe anyways. Uh, and there's not really any other strikers. The only one who maybe would go down is Benzema, but Benzema's at fodder price anyways. So it's like it it's not really going to matter. But uh, yeah, guys, that wraps up the video. Kind of a janky ending, I know. Uh, I wasn't expecting to record this right now, but I have no other time to. So uh, we had to kind of work with what we got. And of course, the light died as well. So that didn't help either. <laughs> but uh, yeah, guys, that wraps it up. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I appreciate all your support recently. And uh, yeah, until next time, peace.